Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian. Welcome everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today, Barbarian. Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian. Welcome everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're opening something a little bit different. I always say that, and it really isn't. But this is very, very different. No Funkos in here. No collectibles in here. A weapon. I am opening a brand new weapon. I've used this axe to open hundreds of boxes. I had uh, a knife I used before that and a couple other axes I tried that I couldn't really get the hang of. I almost cut my hand off, etc. So it's, maybe it's time to retire this. Maybe not. We I'm, Sometimes I've opened something else and use tried something and then I came back to old trusty axe right here but I'm gonna try a different one and see what kind of uh, trouble I can get it well let me try it one last time here well it might not be one last time but I hopefully it will because I paid a pretty penny for this thing uh, Miss Lady over there doesn't know how much I paid and she's probably better off not knowing so we're gonna go ahead and find out what we did we got this all the way from the other side of the world and I'm gonna tell you here shortly if I can ever figure out how to open this stupid thing all right let's I waited and waited and waited for this thing to come, and I didn't see it. And I was like, huh, I wonder what happened. So I contacted them, and they're like, no, we sent it to you. You just haven't opened it yet, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and see what we got here. And there's the box. And that's it. All right, let's take a look and see. Ooh, it comes in a fancy box. Look at that. Look at that. A carrying case. Yeah, baby. I sure did. I sure did. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. What is this? You can see it's a, it's got like these little things, almost like a little ammo box. Not sure if these, we're gonna find out how this works. I'm probably gonna hurt myself. Most likely, I am going to hurt myself. Hmm. There's no instructions. Um, hmm. How do I... Da, 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 da. Um, hmm. How do I do this? I think I forgot. There it is. Look at that. What's that? Switch axe, baby! Switch axe. Yeah! Look at that. Is it sharp? Ooh, it is super sharp. Look at that. Did you see how that worked? Now, how do I get it back in there? That's the question. Not too sure. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm gonna have to figure this thing out. All I had to do was go like this, and it shot out of there. You see how it shot right on the top? I just don't know how to... Maybe pull out or push out? What do you think? Pull out and then push out? <laughs> ah! This must be to pull it up, and this must be to pull it down. There's gotta be a reason why this would be on there. Now, it kind of pushes up. Maybe that's what it is. Try to do this without cutting, Mike. Well... This is how this is how it opens. We're not too sure how it closes yet. It is extremely sharp. This this axe was purchased on Amazon, and it's more of a show axe. Like you know, you just put it on a display, and it sort of sits there. That's why sometimes it's kind of dull and really isn't. This is a real world type axe, and I am going to try it out on some various things, and you'll see at the rest of the video the different things I try it out on. But this is very cool. I'm going to try to show you some close ups on how it works. Not too sure how to close it which is big trouble for me. And I am a, a danger to myself and others normally when that happens. So, hmm. Six months later. So here's the switch axe up close. You can sort of see all the little parts that make it work. It's actually a very high tech piece of equipment. You can sort of see the handle, etc. Handles like a molded plastic. These are all the pieces that kind of get it to go together. And there's two parts to make it switch back in. Um, that took me a little while to figure out, okay? So the first one is on this side. <clears throat> okay, you can see, that, like I said, there's these pieces right here that kind of make it fold down, and then there's another part that make it, make it go inside, okay? So the first thing we want to do is to get it to fold inside. So you push in, you can sort of see a little bit, it's hard to see. You push in on this little metal piece right here that kind of pops up. It's kind of like a, a knife, like it's got like a little lock and it kind of flips down and pushes in tight. And then the second piece is this little pin right here. And you pull it up, push it back, excuse me, push it back in so it slides. 
And that will happen is, once you push it in enough, and this blade is down, it will, oops, it will slide back down inside like that. Okay. So what happens is when you, when you switch it real hard, you got to flick your wrist real hard. I'm still trying to figure this out. It pops out like this and then it will snap. So like the gravity, when you crack your hand like that, it, it pops out like that. So it's very cool. Um, I can put down the link of where I found it uh, online. I saw it on another channel. Someone actually tried to make a better switch axe than this one. And this is the first switch axe they showed. Um, and it was very, very cool. Um, it's called a channel called Hacksmith. And without warning, we received this gift. Uh, but this was very cool and I just thought it'd be a, a fun thing to add to my collection. Um, the next part you're going to see is me testing it, testing it out on some various things. All right, welcome back. Now we're going to get a chance to try out this bad boy. That's right, we're going to try out the switch axe and see how sharp it really is. My previous axes are more for show, making it very hard to cut through the tape. This is going to test to see how strong and sharp it really is. Uh, there may be bloodshed, no promises. There it is, switch axe. All right, let's see what we can do. We're going to try our first thing. Our first thing should be fairly easy. It's just a cucumber. Yeah, just a standard cucumber. We're gonna see if we can go ahead and chop it into a couple pieces. So I'll go ahead and slide this back right here. Put it like that. I'm not gonna get my hands anywhere near it. There we go. Whoop, chopped it right now. Look at how sharp that was. Ooh, got a nice, good, another good sharp one. One more. All right. Is it still good? Still good cucumber. So good cucumber. All right, got another one here. Try to make sure that this worked uh, right the first time. No chips or anything. Look, looking pretty good. Try another one. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, nice and sharp. Look at that. There we go. I went and butchered it a little bit. Kind of a mess. We're making a bit of a mess here. Our next thing is going to be our watermelon, okay? It's a small seedless watermelon, so no seed should cause any problems, none whatsoever. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can do. The axe is kind of short compared to what the watermelon is going to be here. I was going to stand up to do this, but I would be out of frame. You don't want to see that. You want to see my face right in this thing. So let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, that made a bit of a hack. I couldn't chop all the way through. Let's try it. There it is. Look at that. That's it. I'm getting a spray of watermelon all over my collectibles. That's not smart. All right, let's try it again here. See if I can chop through this. Ooh, there you go. All right, one more. And then we'll try our pineapple. And then I got one more thing. We're really gonna test on this bad. Let's try it, let's do it. All right, look at that. Mmm, we made a hell of a mess. Clean up aisle four. All right. Let me go ahead and move this over here. Let's test out. Is the watermelon any good? Might be still good. Mm-hmm. Still good. Still got seeds. Whenever they say they're seedless, it's still got seeds. All right. Let's take a look at our pineapple here. Pineapples are notoriously hard. This is going to be a tough one for this bad boy. It's going to be a real tough one. Let me see if I can chop the top of it off real quick. I'm going to really wrench down on it and see what we can do. Come on! Pineapple! Mmm! It went in pretty good. I'm going to buy halfway. There you go. We lopped that bad boy right off. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try it again. Mmm! It's a little too thick. It's not the surface. It's just the length of the blade needs to be a little longer so you can get through it a little bit. Maybe if I was standing, I'd be able to do it. Let me see if I can stand. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and slide this over this way. I'll get it this time. One more time. Mmm. Didn't quite make it through. But, yeah, looks pretty good, though. Looks pretty good. Let me see if the watermelon tastes any good. Good watermelon. That's a real good watermelon. All right. So... We did pretty good. I'd say on the cucumber, it's at least a 10 out of 10. That sucker sliced it real good. This is a perfect slicing thing for cucumbers. If you need to cut cucumbers, buy the Switch Axe. It's a quality item. Watermelon, I'd say eight out of 10. 
it went through it pretty good. It's uh, Again, the blaze needs to be a little longer in order for you to cut up a lot of bigger fruits like that. And the pineapple, probably more of a 5 out of 10. You really have to wrench down hard on it. Um, I probably, like I said, if I'd been standing, I probably could have done a better job. But anyway. All right, one last item. That's right. It's our good old pal Flash. Let's see if we can do something to our good old pal for us. Flash. This was given to me from some friends uh, from New York and uh, around the country. Ooh. Um, and I don't routinely damage items that they say. But I was given authorization to do so. I can't lie! Okay. I was given authorization to do so. If you believe me, I don't know. But um, this is uh, our girlfriend, Flash. And uh, he's going to go missing in a flash here. Let me move some of this crap out of the way here. Move the fr fruit right out of the way. I'll clean this up. My wife is not going to be pleased with the mess I made here. But here he is. He's a hard plastic fellow. The question is, will he lose his head? Not too sure. Again, he's not super thick, but we're going to see. I'm going to see how accurate I can be and see if I can knock his head off. Let's see what we can do. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here he goes. Bye, Flash. Uh, it took two chops, but you can see he is now headless. My blade appears to be still intact. Doing good. See if I can go through his body this time. Damn! Broke him all to pieces. One more! There he goes! He exploded! Yeah! Flash is gone! Yeah, baby! All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Kind of chaotic, but lots of fun none the same. Thank you very much for coming. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the destruction and chaos and my cool switch axe that I'll be using to open packages so it'll be a lot more calm in the future. But thank you very much for coming and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.